It was a rainy morning in 2019. I was running late and hurrying up to leave for class. I was busy with my master's degree in philosophy and professional coaching at a leading, leading business school in South Africa. I was the youngest in class and with my background of being Miss South Africa and Miss World and studying medicine, I really wanted to lay down. No, <laughs> I wanted to lay low. I didn't want to lay down. I wanted to lay low. I didn't want to draw any negative attention. I just wanted to be on time and punctuality was extremely important for me. I was putting on um, my mascara when my two-year-old son threw one of those things that you dread happening in a public setting. A terrible two, full out, lying on the floor, kicking, screaming tantrum. And I knew exactly what was going on. It was a really busy week. I had to leave early every morning to be on time for class. And we had an event the night before. So I knew that the one thing my two-year-old son wanted was his mommy's undivided attention. So there I was juggling between work and life. All of us do that. Juggling between work and life. What do I choose? What do I do? I stood there and chose to spend 10 minutes of undivided quality time with my son. I knew that I would be late for class, but it was a price I was willing to pay to make sure that my son gets the attention that he needs. I spent 10 minutes with him. We started building uh, blocks and he was a different child at the end of the 10 minutes. I ended up being 15 minutes late, but it was all worth it. So juggling between work and life, what do we do? The one thing that always helps me decide is the following. In life, we have different balls that we have to juggle. Some of these balls are glass balls and some of these balls are rubber balls. The difficult part is deciding which ones are the glass balls and which ones are the rubber balls. The rubber balls can bounce, we can drop them, They'll bounce and we can just catch them again. But the glass balls will break if we let them fall. So in that instance, in that moment, my son was the glass ball. But being on time for class was the rubber ball. It was not the end of the world if I didn't, end, um, if I didn't, if I didn't arrive on time. So sometimes the glass balls are disguised as rubber balls and the rubber balls are disguised as glass balls. And we only realize that it was a glass ball when it already broke. What are your glass balls and what are your rubber balls? Sometimes it changes. If my husband was there to comfort my son, I would have been able to keep my studies as a glass ball and my son as a rubber ball because my husband was there to catch it. Um, or keep it as a glass ball because my husband was there to catch it. So the thing is, when it comes to juggling work and life, what are your glass balls and what are your rubber balls?